is up my dragonflies, my kings and queens, my beautiful people. We're back with another video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jai and this is 32 Horror Stories Animated Compilation August 2022. And hope you guys enjoy it. But I want to entertain if I did not say that. And if you don't know it, I have music out. It's on all stream platforms. Positive vibes to you. So see that. Uh, I don't know how much. I'll probably watch six minutes of it or when I feel like stopping it. So sit back and relax and let's watch. Dancing woman. I woke up startled by the sudden sound of thunder. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. I took off the blanket mm -hmm. and at that moment I you got a sudden button? severe headache. I fell to the floor and rolled, strongly holding my head. And the memories of the day popped up in my head. Some water. The Take same sound of thunder like that day. The rain was beating hard against the windows as if it was about to break them. I woke up in the middle of the night and walked to the kitchen. At that time, I heard a faint sound, which was really weird. Uh -oh. Like someone's mouth was suddenly gagged while screaming. What's going but I couldn't on? hear properly because it was soon drowned out by the sound of rain. I drank up a glass of water, and all of a sudden I saw something standing at the front door of the next house, uh -oh. which was visible through the Woman window in of my living room. With a flash of lightning, I found a vague silhouette of a human who was getting rained on without an umbrella. Thinking if I saw things, I tried clearly to see what it was, but I couldn't because it was too dark. After a while, lightning flashed once again and I saw a woman and a man dancing together. I dropped the glass on my big toe, groaned with pain. Not the toe. When another lightning stroke again, I saw a woman dancing with somebody. She was grinning from ear to ear. However, the man dancing with her was your turn. mindlessly swung around, just like a dummy by the woman. As it was kind of creepy, I checked the door to make sure it was locked. Then I turned my eyes to them again to clearly see what they were doing. There we go. At that moment, her eyes suddenly turned to me. Red. I got startled oh, and yes. immediately hit myself. Ass. I was not sure whether she got aware of me or if she was just looking in this direction. Ram. When she I looked back. back through the window after a couple of minutes, they were gone. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, this is not funny. Please. Muttering in a low voice, I looked around a bit nervously, then went back to my room. Next morning, it was noisy outside the house next door. There were several police officers, and I found the man next door was found dead. Oh. One of the police came to me and asked me if anything had happened to me last night. So I said, I saw a man and a woman were dancing in front of the house, and I heard my big toe. <laughs> the police showed me a picture of his dead body and asked me if he was the man I saw last night. In the picture, all of his joints were terribly broken and twisted, and the body was horribly bloated by that? rain. It was even hard to recognize, but uh, it certainly looked like him. He's then the police showed me another picture of a woman who really looked like the one I saw last night. She was the dead man's wife who already mm -hmm. died three years ago. Three years ago. As far as I know, she had a severe mental illness while she was alive. Bullshit. She already died three years ago, but how come? I was extremely confused. A few days later, the police came to my house again and said, Last night, another man living across the way died, completely soaked by rain, just like the previous case. Did you see or notice anything strange last night? I was shocked, speechless. The police continued, Take you. care of yourself on a rainy day, especially when it's with thunder and lightning. Nobody can ensure your safety. I gulped with fear. It was so loud the police might hear it. Her Since then, there have been a number of witnesses mm. telling that they're seeing Zero, the dancing woman night after night. Go somewhere. Even there was a rumor that never make eye contact with the <laughs> dancing woman at night because several more men went missing in the Keep village away. after that day. The police conducted a large scale investigation, but they got nowhere. Who got one day? On a rainy night, I heard someone knocking at my door. I, answered. I walked up to the door and looked outside through the window. The I girl. saw a woman in a white dress standing in front of my door. 
completely soaked with rain. Don't answer it. I felt my heart suddenly thumped in the chest. Don't answer because it. Because she was dancing alone, holding a knife. I shouted, fuck off. Oh. I don't like dancing. Frightened, I missed my footing while shrinking back from her. I fell backward, and I was still seeing her silhouette dancing alone through the window. Mm -hmm. I'll call the police, I shouted again. Then the silhouette disappeared, and fortunately, nothing happened that night. And I moved out from that house. And six years have passed since I'll then. I'll rebuke you in name I haven't heard any news about that village and the woman anymore. I'll rebuke you. But even now, I completely lock all the doors and windows of my house when it rains and lightning strikes. Sometimes it feels like I can hear her laughing from the yard. Or I see her shadow dancing frantically. Well... All this might be just hallucinations. But nevertheless, I didn't look out through the window to identify her. Right. Until today, I still have no idea who she was. Just one thing I can't ever forget is her dancing. Looking back on it now, maybe that was not dancing, but stabbing the man frantically with a knife. Yikes. Girl, get we can watch one more. Even though this hour, uh... My name is Sophia, and this happened in Hi, March Sophia. 12, 2019. I was hanging out with my friend Sean at a park one day, since it was his birthday. We were waiting for two of our friends, Drew and Kobe, to get to the park. About 30 minutes later, they showed up, bringing some snacks. We were planning on having a picnic, and the park there was the perfect place to have one. We ate, drank a couple of bottles of soju, played some board games, and caught each other up with our lives. It was getting dark. Kobe checked her phone, and it was around 6.39 p.m., so we decided to pack our stuff and leave. As soon as we were done, we started walking to go home. You see, our houses are right beside one another, and we've okay. known each other since we were all kids. Putting that aside, we were now walking on a dimly lit road with a couple of houses here and there. I saw a woman dressed in white with black medium length hair. The weird part is, mm. I could tell she was low key bruised, even in the distance, and had a hunched back. I told my friends about the strange woman. Maybe she needs help? Sean said, unsure. Come on, it's getting late, Drew said. Yeah, I agree with Drew. It's not safe around here. I agree. Kobe laughed nervously. But what if she really does need help? I said back. I turned around to see the woman still there, hunched over like she so was like eating something. Some more from the Sean room. and I agreed to approach the woman while the other two, let's just say they were holding each other's hands because they were scared. As we got close to the woman, mm -hmm. we had this uneasy feeling and yeah. we smelled something that was rotting. The sewer. Sean tapped the woman she and like said, a sewer. Miss, are you okay? Silence. The next thing I Go saw away. still scares Go me away. to this day. Go away. The woman she never turned around her. and we saw a big bloody scar on her forehead oh. down to her chin. And the worst part is, I saw a little girl's body lying on the ground with no intestines, blood gushing out of her stomach. The woman was eating her intestines. I screamed oh, yeah. so loud, and Sean grabbed my wrist and started running towards my other friends, shouting, Run! 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 They didn't quite get it at first, Literally. but as they saw the woman chasing us, Kobe oh. froze in shock. She couldn't move, and we had almost reached them, but she still didn't move a single step. That's when Drew grabbed her hands and started running as fast as they could, with us following and mm -hmm. a crazy woman running to us maniacally. We got home eventually and told our parents about it. They didn't believe us at first, but a day later, Kobe's parents told ours that she got this big scratch on her back. It was like something with claws or long nails scratched her. Like we ended up calling the police and also told them about the girl's body. They ended up finding the girl's body in a lake, but it was strange that the autopsy said that the girl just drowned. Mm. My grandma visited this week, present time, and told me a story about a woman named Maria Labo. She eats human flesh and stuff, so that's why I shared this story with all of you. 
Oh my God! Hey, okay, one more. My one. name is Philip. And this happened when I was 12 years old. Me and my mother got to a bar that was next to a hospital to meet my uncle. My cousin was with him. My cousin was at the time 13 years, and his name was James. He was my best friend. Time passed and it got dark. Now me and my cousin started playing around the bar. After a little bit of time, we saw a man in the middle of his 40s, dressed in an old dirty black suit. He was just standing there. Like on the trash can. I got freaked out, and we ran back to our parents. Then me and my cousin implored our parents to let us do a sleepover at James' house. My uncle accepted, and after my uncle talked to my mother, she accepted too. We were so excited because we wanted to stay up late and tell horror stories while eating sweets. We got to James' house, but James' uncle had to go buy some food for McDonald's for us. It was 1 a.m., and we started telling horror stories. After the first horror story, hey, don't tell me this man came, followed you. I got freaked out, and we started playing games on his phone. After ten minutes, we heard a loud noise that was coming from the kitchen. The window from the kitchen was destroyed. Someone broke that window with a stone. We got to the kitchen, and what I saw is still giving me nightmares. It was the dun, man dun, dun. that was watching us near the hospital. He was in the kitchen with a large kitchen knife, just looking at us. Now I saw his face. He was dirty and had two scars on his face. He had his eyes wide open and he was smiling, but at the same time he was looking nervous. He looked insane. After ten seconds, the man said something that gave me the chills. Great mother trucker. Do you want to feel my knife? At that moment I was frozen in fear. Then James said, no. You had the man got James and stabbed him in the stomach. He fell on the floor. Then the man asked me the question. Do you want to feel my knife? He approached me, and then because of the blood that was bleeding from James, and because of the fear, I vomited on the man. And after a couple of seconds as he was cleaning his what gun, is going on? he screamed at the top of his lungs. Get a bat. And then my uncle got in the house and stabbed the guy with the car keys. And then he punched the man very hard in his face. And he yeah, passed out. Yeah, I hope there's not. Then he saw true. James and started crying. I was crying and shaking. My uncle called the police, the ambulance, and my mom. My cousin survived. Who the followed you guys? And my uncle oh, and my mom good. increased the security in their houses. From that day, my mother didn't let me go to other sleepovers. Neither did my dad. Mm. According to police. The man had escaped from an insane asylum. He got in the asylum because he had mutilated his wife and oh killed her. Gosh. When the body was found, the woman had a long knife deep in her stomach, and the man was looking at her. The police were called because the neighbors heard the woman and the man screaming. Now I'm 23 years old, and I'm still thinking what would have happened if I hadn't vomited at that time, <sighs> and if my uncle didn't enter the house in that moment. Wow, sir, so he followed y'all. He followed y'all at home. This was crazy. Get some help. Get some help. All these people. Because that was one thing entertainment, 32 horror stories, anime, and all together. But, you know, part one. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, have the most awesome part of the day. Stay grateful, stay blessed. And until next time, guys. Peace.